Yay! AB Cop? From Sega? What is this, like, pre-ESWAT? Boris the skinhead. Oh no. Okay. Still kind of looks like Eswat. <laughs> Not totally, but. Whoa. Whoa. Oh wow. I've never seen this game before. Oh, this is like Chase HQ. I've never heard of this game before. Well, man. Oh, Boris, you skinhead. It's like Chase HQ from Sega. <laughs> I don't know what the controls were, though. Dogfight? I don't think I ever saw this game. Huh. I don't feel like finding out how to play that game. I think this game got ported to the Master System. That sounds familiar. Yeah, I never knew there was an original Afterburner. It's basically the same as Afterburner 2, just different. <laughs> Yeah, so Atari just um, released a redo of this game uh, from Jeff Minter. And it's actually, I, I like it. it. It's fun. But the funny thing is, it was stated that 
the guy that had the original arcade game wouldn't give up the ROM, but here it is. So, I was kind of surprised by that. I wonder how this plays with the controller. I think this is gonna suck with the controller. I wonder if I can use the mouse. Fuck! I didn't think about that. It's funny being able to hear the game because in the arcades you can never hear them. Sounds familiar. <sighs> so this was a pretty sought after port to like the Saturn, but it never happened. I've never played this game, but it's kind of a 2D beat em up, but it's got kind of Guardian Heroes 3D elements. It's all sprite based. Okay. I've heard this has had problems with uh, emulation. Where's he going? 
Man. I mean, you just can't tell if you're hitting anything besides the sound. What the fuck? Very good. I can see why they didn't port it. Like, Golden Axe, uh, whatever Death Adder is, is legit good. Like, this is just clunky. Just clunky. Well, I don't need to play that again. the uh, arcade game that um, oh, that Linneman posted about yesterday. I gotta see if that's on here. Let me look really quick. Gunbuster. Okay. Well, let me go look. Oh. I wonder if I have it. I doubt it. See how this plays on here. Oh, the PR emails I get. Best CBD products for gaming and esports. All right. So I wonder if I can play this with the mouse. Gun Buster. Okay. 
Guess not. this is going to play on a controller. Probably not too well. But that's not the game's fault. All right, John, you're right. Good soundtrack. Not the easiest in the world to play with a controller. Like here, especially because I, I have to push forward to move. Then it's also pointing the gun straight up. That's neat to see. Runs really well. First alpha mission? Ugh. I used to love this game in the arcade. It had full screen scaling and everything, but I don't think it'll play very well with a controller. It was two joysticks at the time. And I doubt that they're it's set up on this controller with the two sticks. Oh. Pretty lady. <laughs> She's probably somebody's grandmother now. I remember playing this back in the 80s at uh, Ledgeview Lane in Fond du Lac. I like this game, but I'm terrible at it. We used to play that at Medcalf South Mall in Kansas City. 
or Novelin Park. That don't look good. Choose your car. Oh. This is just going to be an overhead rally race game like, uh, oh, uh, power rally. Or something like that. There's a few games with like, yeah. Oh my god! This control is weird! Yeah, that didn't control very well. The funny thing about arcade games like the 70s and 80s is that, yeah, we had them in Wisconsin, but we didn't have very much. We had a really good uh, Aladdin's Castle in the mall where I lived. But it was small. So a lot of games that are near and dear to people's hearts from back then, I ne I've never seen. I don't really have any uh, fondness for anything like that. Data East version of Contra, I assume. <laughs> uh, fuck Battletoads. Oh, another uh, gun game. If it'll let me use the mouse, I'll play it. I know a few do. I think I've got it plugged in. Yeah. Yeah, it's plugged in. Ooh. Sorry about that. This is actually a good, good game. I don't know if it's gonna let me... Yeah, we'll see. Johnny Justice! <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna let me. Yeah. Oh well. Beasterizer? This works. That's actually seemingly the biggest problem with the RetroPie is, um, and this one is done really well. This guy Rob Alvey uh, carried this whole thing, and the collection's wonderful. But, and he goes through and seemingly sets up controls for everything, but a few games get missed. It's really interesting to see games like this 
Whoa! Oh! Okay, so you swing with the... the stick. Oh boy. Huh. Eh. Eh. <laughs> big fight, big trouble in the Atlantic Ocean. Big run from Jal- This- I, I put a video up of this a few days ago. It's not bad. Uh, it's not my favorite, but... It's cool 3D tech. The game looks good, but it, it's a little odd. Huh. Good music. Huh. Never played it before. Actually, except for the ones I just did a few days ago. Cole was an Atari game. Now, if any of you are watching this on YouTube and you're saying, Oh, play that game! I can't hear you unless you're on the stream. Commenting. Just remember. It's a really bad fighting game.
So it's Bomberman for the arcade. Okay. Bonk arcade. Uh... Boot camp. Anybody ever play this? Interesting. Oh, wow. I remember that game. Oh, so this was Breath of the Dreamcast. I don't think... I don't think it's playable. I wonder if you can play that with a controller like this. On the Dreamcast, it's weird because G-Rev um, maps a lot of this stuff just to the D-pad and you can't use the stick at all. So that's why I had to buy a Dreamcast stick, because I can't do D-pads. So I wonder if it works here. Oh, uh, Naoma game, yeah. Right. It's a really good game. Uh, I just don't know if I'll be able to control it well. Can't control it. Only with a D pad, and I cannot do that. Ooh, Bull Rama. So I, I put the um, a video up of this on my channel too. It's not bad. It's a side-scrolling beat 'em up. Pac-Man ripoff. <laughs> This is like probably three monitors. Oh, I remember this game. I remember this game. Oh man, it doesn't self-center. Oh my god. I can't play this. 
<laughs> it doesn't center at all. You have to... Oh my gosh. Rival. What's this then? <laughs> oh, is this a fighting game? this round one Dark point. Out, out. Do the before so this game I love on the um, the turbo duo the turbo graphics CD I actually tested the American version uh, it's also known as Pom ping ball uh, Pom ping world it's a really fun game Who wants to go to the car jamboree? It's funny, I have a trackball, but I don't have a case for it yet to put it in. So I can't play any trackball stuff. I remember this game. That would show up in bars a lot. Chaos Field. That can also be found on the GameCube and the Dreamcast, I believe? We'll check it out, but it's... Chase HQ is not a game I've ever been that fond of.
We'll try this, but so this is a really cool game that isn't known very much. Um, it's from Atari. Uh, the movie is one of my favorites. The game is a little tough, but it's pretty cool. They used to have this at, I think it, I think it was Carl Ray Lanes in Fond du Lac, if not Ledgeview. But I'm not very good at it. I haven't played this in years. It's really cool when the bomb goes off right before you get back in the elevator and the flames will kind of come through the door a little bit. It's pretty cool. Okay. It was funny because in the movie... They made it seem like this game was available on the 5200, but it wasn't this game. Okay. What do I have to get? That S, I think? I have no idea what got me. Whoop! See, I just don't remember what all the rules are in this game. Oh, this might be the... Uh, there's a really good arcade game 
that I played at GameWorks one time, and I think that it has the old school batting controls. I think, maybe not, where you would pull this little stick back and it was on a little spinner, and you would pull it back and let it go to hit. I, hmm, I almost think that's this. comes in. Huh. Pretty cool. See if this works with the mouse. Because Virtual Cop 3 did. Or no, House of the Dead 2 worked with the mouse. Come on. Come on. I see a, I see a crosshair. Congo Bongo, a game I used to really love. I had it on the, on the 2600 even. Let's see how this is. Brought to you by Sega. Ooh. Cosmic Smash. <laughs> Welcome to Cosmic Smash. Oh, this is like a... Let's game. begin. Oh, I remember this game. I never played it, but I remember it. I think I saw a video of it once. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> I 
So this game is awesome. It's a cutesy version of Galaga, and it's also on the Super Famicom, and it's really good on the Super Famicom. You know, I remember Crackdown, but I don't remember anything about it. Coin not acceptable. Give us dollars. Oh, yeah, and then he set the bombs down. I think this is on the Genesis, too, isn't it? older than I realized. I don't think I've ever played this. Wow. Well, fucking hey! Kick a man when he's down. Much like Double Dragon or Vigilante. Ugh.
I assume this is gonna be ultra wide. It's usually three monitors in the in the arcade. Yeah. Imagine my surprise when I found out that at least one of the Darius games on the Sega Saturn is this same aspect ratio. I think this is the first time that I've ever heard the uh, arcade soundtrack. <laughs>
Oh, I tried this once. This is uh, an Atomus Wave game, I believe, or on the Naomi. Uh, but it's kind of their attempt at uh, NFL Blitz, and it's awful by comparison. So this is one of my favorite games in the world, but you can't control it with a regular controller. I used to play this constantly. Whenever I went to Aladdin's Castle in Fond du Lac, I played this game. on the Super Famicom. Or no, it's on the Mega Drive. So we'll go through the G's today, and then I'll stop. Or, I don't know. Eh, maybe we'll go one, one more. We'll do the E's, because the E's won't be very long. So this game's really cool, but it you can't control it on here. Let's see if he fixed it, but I doubt if he did. I was so bummed, because I remember playing this game at a Gameworks once down in Chicago, and it's really, really good, and you can't control it.
I don't know what swing is. Yeah. Damn it. It's a really cool game and I can't control it. So some of these I'm skipping over because I have them on the mystery already. Like Eastwat. Eastwat used to be another one of my favorites in the arcade. Although I played it recently and I'm not too good at it anymore. Elevator Action Returns is really cool. I don't know it though, and the one time I tried to play in the Saturn I was lost. It's so cool though. This is a Naomi racer? Actually, I think it's. Might be a Thomas Wave, but same difference. It's pretty cool. It's not great, but it's pretty cool. It looks good. It just doesn't control that well. game. A video game called Facts. Well, we just send each other images of documents all day. At 
Lee Carvello's Fighting Golf. I guess I'm done for now. It was fun. Thanks for not watching. See y'all later.